good morning so today is monday march 30th and it is the start of my online classes also don't mind that i'm doing laundry today you know everybody's in quarantine but i wanted to take you guys along with me on like a typical day in my house and i wasn't really doing anything before so the fact that school has started has made like my days more eventful or it's going to probably make it more eventful honestly i haven't been doing that much just been in the house chilling eating all the snacks try to show you guys what i would do for a typical day in school online and yeah i can go downstairs and make breakfast with this quarantine i've been cooking a lot i have a big pile of clothes right here because you know i had to take all my clothes from my dorm i still didn't move out yet but i figured that we weren't coming back so i took like all my clothes with me yeah also I want to show you guys something. My closet fell, or like the shelf right here fell. So, I was going to do a video. That's why I had like all this stuff right here. Let me know if you want to see a video of me like transforming my whole closet. Because it looks so bad. Like, I have way too many clothes. And this is like the third time this shelf has like fallen. I think it's a sign I need to donate, sell, something. Everything. Do you see how many clothes? It was so organized too. But once this fell, like everything else was just like... No, but as you can see, this is literally terrible. And I have shoes here. And I want to order, like, a clothing rack and stuff like that. But, you know, like, since the coronavirus is going on, like, you really can't order anything. Like, Amazon, it's not it's not um, one-day shipping anymore. So, I was like, no, I don't feel like I'll just wait till all this is over. I didn't realize how much stuff it would affect just everyday life type of stuff. Because even though I don't go out the house that much, you don't realize that like, you need to go out the house until it's like they tell you you can't. Little stuff that you need to do. Like you have a dentist appointment, something like that. Whatever. My nails. Little stuff that I want to get done. And I'm going to try to get my dad to put this shelf back up. But I don't know if he's going to be able to, honestly. But hopefully. Prayfully. So I think I'm going to cook some pancakes. With these. So we got this. We got eggs. We need to get cheese. Salt and pepper. So, up here. So, yeah, I think the setting that I have my camera on is blurring, like, all the stuff out in the back and it's focusing on my face. So, I don't really know my camera could do that until now. So, but, yeah. I'm trying to see. Is that good? All right. Can this is how clumsy I am in real life. So, this is, like, raw footage. Like, I honestly just hurt my elbow. Alright. I have these two pans for the pancakes, for the eggs. But before you even start cooking, what you should do is wash your hands. I uh, don't let you all know that. What we're going to do first is wash our hands and rinse off our pans. So, I'm going to put these over here. Now, you want to wet your hands first. We had to make the mix first. So I used like this little small bowl to make my pancake mix. And it's just like a little gray bowl. I use a little mixer like this to mix everything. Is it me or like I don't like when my hands and arms are wet. Like I just have to like constantly dry them because it just feels uncomfortable. So to make pancakes, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I mean... It's nothing special, but if you want them extra buttery and good, I'm going to show you all how I do it. Here's, it says lift here. I don't know if I did it right, but who cares? All right, so basically, you want to open that, and you want to bring out your measuring cups. Just to have two, pour two cups of the mix. Now, ooh, now I will admit that two cups cooks a lot of pancakes, so if you're not trying to cook like a lot, then maybe you don't really need to um, do the full two cups. But I just do two cups because, I mean, you can always save the pancakes and have them the next morning for breakfast. I don't know why I never can. This never pours smoothly. And it spilled. Of course it was spilled. We're going to take this bowl and we're going to pour the first cup of the mix inside. Now we're going to pour one more. Y'all, I'm really like struggling with this. Come on. I'm a good cook, okay? Oh, that came out a lot. Now I'm going to pour the second cup into the bowl, like so. Now what you want to do is add one and one half cups of water. Put that up. 
I don't know why I don't bring the bowl. I always like the mission to come in. But I'm gonna take my whisk and just mix that all together. And you wanna put your back into it. It's like no. And I get in there, like I like to yeah. Before you even pour it, I like to make sure it's not going to stick. So what you need to do is either spray it or put butter down. I'm going to put butter down. Because it's not coming off. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this? I'm going to turn this down a little bit before it pops me in the eye. <coughs> so my bowl has this little dent right here. You can pour it like smoothly. So this is what it looks like. You'll know your pancakes are done when it starts bubbling. Before you flip it over to make it not stick on the other side and to make it more buttery is to add another piece right here or for each of them another piece. So now what we're gonna do is make the eggs. I'm gonna use this pan right here, but I feel like so I don't have to wash as much, I can go ahead and use this same exact pan, just like rinse it off. Something that I'm doing differently is just adding spinach to it. It would just, you know how you like add spinach to your omelet and stuff? It's gonna be just like that, except it's gonna be scrambled. And add some cheese to these the thick cut version this all together but yeah so excuse me what have you guys been doing during this little quarantine thing you know i feel like i'm between lazy and motivated like some days like i don't want to do anything but some days i'm like all right i haven't been doing anything for like three days straight like let me do something but like i said i feel like with me having to do school again online it's definitely making me more motiva motivated like i already woke up at 9 a.m today so i already got my day started earlier like when I didn't have to do anything, like the fact that I didn't have to do anything for the other days, like get up and do like a Zoom call for class, I was waking up late and really, you know, but I feel like I have more of a schedule, like I have more stuff to do. Honestly, I feel like I don't really, I don't know, I kind of lost motivation for school. Not like completely, but like I feel like I'm way more motivated at school. Doing work in your house is kind of hard especially if you don't have like a desk or something but i have a desk but <clears throat> i still use my bed i just have to get through it it's not gonna be that much longer this virus is just crazy to be honest like i didn't expect it to get this serious like i knew it was like a serious thing but i didn't think like businesses were gonna be shut down whole semester is canceled that's crazy and i feel bad for like all the seniors college seniors high school seniors i just feel bad for everybody because it's just like a year that you lose not a year, but it's a semester that you lose with, you know, your friends and stuff that you made in college. People can't go to prom, people can't graduate. So it's, I honestly would be annoyed. Like, if it was my senior year, I would be really mad. Hopefully it's over by April. I'm gonna add some pepper to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this salt. That's what it looks like. So this is the finished product. I mean and I also went upstairs and I got my vitamins because with this whole coronavirus going around, I want to make sure you're healthy. This is gonna help my immune system as well as other things like hair, skin, and nails, bone health, heart health. It's just a daily women's vitamin. I literally have so many emails from my professors. Leave me alone. They're, my school started, my online school started today. So, which is Monday. So, my phone just kept going off all last night. Matter of fact, not even last night, the entire Sunday. So, and even before that, but especially yesterday, because I guess they're all adding all their stuff to the files and stuff, but 
it's literally like so many messages so i'm just going through these now just to look at stuff but it's honestly overwhelming but yeah all right so some time has passed and it's currently like 12 40 so i was gonna do like a quiz upstairs you know because i was just chilling talking to my dad you know after i finished eating i was just chilling i wasn't really doing nothing i was just on my phone just chilling so i was about to take my quiz but i'm like you know what why not record that and show you guys me taking my quiz so i'm taking a communications quiz or a quiz for my comm class and yeah it's only like five questions so i'm gonna do that real quick real quick we basically have to read this book for my comm class and we get quizzed on the different chapters he wants us to read and I guess like each chapter, like hold on, I don't know. Different chapters from the book are like, I guess like different techniques and stuff that we can use in our speech, but I don't really read the book. I mean, I tried to read the book and like I read the full chapter that, we, that was assigned for like the quiz or whatever. I took the quiz and I got like a D, but when I skim it, I'm gonna show you what to do. So, so what I do, I'm gonna show you a split screen or whatever and I have the quiz on the left side and then I open up the book on the right side so I go ahead and look for that chapter first of all we have how many minutes we have 10 minutes to do this quiz and I just feel like it's not enough but I've been getting like tens I've been getting like 100% on these quizzes because I don't read that, make, that that sounds like backwards but like is just look for the keywords in the um chapter like the question will ask something and i'll go ahead and look for a keyword that i see in the question oh, i'm scared every time i take a quiz and it's just time like i get anxious like <sighs> cognitive dissonance occurs when a person holds two inconsistent ideas oh, God. and most of the stuff that we get questioned on is going to be probably bolded oh, God. i better not feel this okay right here so i found that cognitive dissonance is one of the questions that's bolded all right let me stop talking. It's a true or false question. So, you see how I did that? I didn't even have to read. I'm going to just go ahead and click true. And it doesn't tell you if you're right until the end, but true. Alright, I'm going to stop talking because this is like a real quiz, y'all. Alright. But this is how I save time because you know what I'm saying? I'm not reading an entire chapter for them to ask me something that I didn't even remember pertaining. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really can't find it. Oh my goodness. I gotta get them. Oh my goodness. Bet. I'm on question five. I really shouldn't be doing this because I'm taking time. Question five, and I have. Okay, I have literally like 40 seconds. Like, oh god, oh god. Space refers to persuasive or advertisement strategy and maintaining habits of a target art, particularly as it pertains to politics and marketing. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. And I have 26 seconds. I can't look through the book. I'm gonna just put true because why would they even make that crap up? Submit. I got a 10 out of 10, as y'all can see, and the last one I guessed. Oh, I just wanted to pop and make sure everything was working good. Don't be, don't yeah, be we're popping in all my class right like now. Sure <laughs> don't be popping up all my class. Did you just say you want? Don't do that. This can be a stressful time, but just... It's only seven weeks left, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, this is not going to last forever. And I have another one at five. They're all just going to be like recaps or I'm pretty sure they're all going to just be like talking about like how it's going to work. So if you have any kind of issues with anything, feel free to reach out and let me know about it, right? Okay, guys, so I forgot to end this vlog, but I didn't do anything for the rest of this day. Like, I'm pretty sure all I did was just eat more food and sleep. But with that being said, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.